Hi guys, so today we're gonna to do a full body workout using only one set of dumbbells. Having said that, if you don't have any dumbbells at home, don't worry, just try to improvise. I find that heavy bottles of some kind tends to work pretty well. So wine bottles or water bottles tends to do the job. Uh, but before we start, let's jump on the mats and get warmed up. Okay guys, so our first warm up exercise is gonna be the floor bridge. So on your mats, keep your feet in towards your butt, squeeze your butt, drive the hips to the sky, and then come down nice and slow, breathe in, and then breathe out as you push out. It's two, we're gonna do eight reps. Come up, that's three, breathe in, and out, four, five, Three more, six, seven, last rep, and eight, good. Then you're gonna roll onto your fronts and do a cobra stretch. So hands just slightly wider than shoulder width, feet together, squeeze your butts. Take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, open up. Nice big chest, come down slow, it's one. Breathe in, breathe out, two, four, we do eight reps, down and up, five, and down, keep that butt tight all times, six, especially as you come up, breathe in and out, Seven, last one, and eight, good. And in a press up position, world's great stretch, so right foot and line right hand, drop the left knee, then rotate through the right shoulder, and bring it back, and then switch sides. That's two, we we'll do six reps. Three, Four, five, and six. Good. Then on your feet, last one, just some leg swing. So, balls of your feet, and then your right leg is going to touch your left hand. One, two, three, four, five, one more. And six, good, other side. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Cool. You shall have a quick breather. Then, when you're ready, back on the mats, feet in towards your butt. Remember, engage that core, belly buttons in. Okay, we're gonna drive through your glutes, through your butt. So squeeze and drive, and then back down nice and slow. That's one, two. We're gonna do eight reps up. That's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, cool, then roll onto your front. Palms just slightly widen, shoulder width, feet together, squeeze your butt, breathe in, breathe out. Try and keep those shoulders back and down, especially as you push out. One, and breathe out. Two, three, Four, five, six, two more, seven, last rep, and eight, good, and into press up position, right foot 
Again, in line of right hand, keep the heel on the floor, make sure the toe points 12 o'clock, drop the back knee, and then rotate through the shoulder, and then switch the left leg, left hand, two, six reps in total, three, four, five, last one, and six, good. Okay, on your feet, balls of your feet, and then leg swing. One, two, three, four, five, last one, six, other side, one, two, three, four, five, and six, cool. So that's our warm up over there, guys. Having said that, if there are some other warm up exercises you guys want to do, then just pause the video and do it now. But if not, let's make a start onto our workout. So it's gonna be broken into two different parts today. The first part is gonna be an eight station circuit. It's gonna be 40 seconds on, 20 seconds transition. At the end of the eight stations, we're gonna have a minute and 15 seconds rest. I'm gonna complete three circuits in total. Once you've done that, we're then going to move on to a, a giant set finisher where it's going to be 30 seconds on, 15 seconds transition and no long periods of rest. So we're just going to keep rotating between the four stations until we've completed three sets of each. Once we've done that, then we'll cool down, stretch off. Just before we start, guys, I just want to say our main focus today is that everyone's giving 100%. And as long as you're giving 100%, I really don't mind if you need to do fewer rounds or regress some of the exercises or maybe adapt the time scales to suit your level. That's absolutely fine. Just use that as a reference and a marker and try and improve on that for next time. Okay, guys, so our first exercise is going to be a back lunge into press. So I'm going to quickly demonstrate. So dumbbells are going to be always above the shoulder, starting position here. Now, you're going to alternate legs, back knee comes to the floor. As that comes to the floor, you press and then come back. Just keep repeating that. Okay, guys, grab your dumbbells. Let's get ready. We're going to go in three, two, one, and time on. Okay, back lunge press all the way back and then press. If you can't do the press here, then do the press when both legs are stable, like so. But if not, keep going, stay tall. Try and get your back knee to touch the floor. If you can, but don't rest it. Just use it as a marker. Three, one more. Nice. Okay. Next exercise is a weighted jackknife. Put the volume up on this. Okay, so jackknife as usual, but grip securely the dumbbell and then legs off, touch, come back. Keep that lower back. Squeeze on your mat, guys. Lower back should never come off the ground. Try and get both limbs nice and low. Breathe in, breathe out. As you come up, squeeze your abs. Come on, keep going. Boom, rest. Okay, next exercise, where are we at? Okay, close grip. Okay, we're gonna do a sumo squat. It's a wide stance, feet pointing out, so in the same direction as the knees bend. You're here, squat down, then to the shoulders, press overhead. 
come down, squat as deep as you can. If you can get the dumbbells to touch the floor without rounding your back, then that'd be awesome. Come on, keep going. One more, boom, okay, one dumbbell, okay, you're gonna go in a press up position, you're gonna do a renegade row, like so, bring it back, roll it to the other side, and then row the other way, so row, roll, other arm, roll, don't forget, don't neglect your posture points. Nice straight back, strong core. Try and keep your butt down. Really easy. Let your butt ride in the air. Really visualize those shoulder blades coming together as you row. Come on, keep going. One more rep. Nice. Okay. Keeping on that theme. This time, you're going to do exactly the same, but rather than row, you're going to press up. So, here, press up, roll, then press up. many as you can. If you struggle with that, just do a normal press up. How's your back positions? How's your range of motion? Are you getting all the way down? Come on, keep going. Not long, 10 seconds. Okay, lying on your backs. So this one, I did back to back with the press ups. Hopefully the combination makes this one a struggle. So we're here, dumbbells touching, elbows in. You know, push up, come back. But a fast tempo. Try not to bounce through the chest. Hopefully there's a burn. Oh, I can feel a burn. Keep the dumbbells touching. Elbows in. And keep it fast. Never rest like I am for too long at the top. Oh. Come on, last few seconds. Oh. Boom. Okay, next one is a squat to bicep curl. So here, shoulders back and down, get as deep as you can, and then curl. Oh, down, up, curl. Remember, keep your back straight. Nice big chest. Try not to swing the dumbbells up. Ah, if you can help it. Halfway. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe out. Boom. Okay, next we're going to do four mountain climbers into a, into a press. Ooh. So here, you're going to do one, two, three, four. 
in, shoulders, press, back down. One, two, three, four. Jump in, shoulders, press. One, two, three, four, four. One, two, three, four. One more. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Well done, guys. Rest. We got minute rest, minute 15. Again, just be mindful of that recovery. Stay sound if you can. Remember, big chest will give you big lungs. Be nice and tall. Small sips of water if you need it. And take time. Remember, with your rest periods, you don't only want to physically recover, but you want to mentally recover and prepare yourself for the next round. So. That's why it's so important to focus on your physical recovery, but try and compose yourself mentally as well so you can really execute a good round next. Right. On that note, back lunge and press. Come on, let's nail this. Here we go, we're gonna go in three, two, one, time on. Down, press. Come on, keep going. Weighted jackknife. Whew. So, remember, safe, strong grip. I have one under, then one over the top of that. Here we go. Come up, touch, down. Keep going. Get a nice big crunch. Breathe in. Breathe out. A few more. Awesome. Oh. Awesome, guys. What we got next? Close grip sumo to press. Okay, let's get ready. Standing up, wide stance, dumbbells inside, touch the floor, shoulders, press. Remember, as you squat, don't be lazy. Nice, straight back. Don't want any, any injuries. Oh, come on. Come on, don't give up. Don't quit. Do what you can. Well done. Okay. Rotation. So renegade row with the with the dumbbell roll. Okay, so in a press up position. The middle section is tough. Here we go, press up position. Roll, roll and row, roll, row, roll, row, roll. 
Keep breathing. Throughout, guys. How's your forms? Try not to drop your knees. If you can help it, come on, dig deep. Come on, big effort. Boom. One more. Boom. Okay, same drill. But this time, press ups. Come on. Here we go, press up positions. Come down, up, roll. Come on, big effort. If you can't do it, if you're still on your knees, if you're really struggling, take the dumbbell out. Just do press ups. Few more. Okay. Oh yeah. Close grip. Chest press. Ooh. Tell you what, I did feel this last set. If you're not feeling it, just do it really fast, but with control. So, dumbbells together, or wine bottles, whatever you're using. <laughs> nice, fast tempo. Oh, come on. Don't quit. Remember, if you need a break, take it. But remember, a few deep breaths. As soon as you're ready, back in. Oh, come on. Boom. Okay, next. Squat to bicep curl. Here we go. Deep squat, come up, curl, down. Deep squat, up, curl. One more. Boom. Four climbers into a press. Hot today. <laughs> Sammy hasn't put the, the, the heat on. It's just me. Here we go. Four climbers. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Jump in. Shoulders. Press. Back down. One, two, three, four. Jump. Shoulders. Press. One, two, three, four. Ta. One, two, three, four. Come on. One more. One, two, three, four. Rest. Good work, guys. Minute there, minute 15. Again, mindful of that recovery. One more round, and we're on to our superset finisher. Ooh. We 
remember, use this time to mentally prepare for the next round. Breathing under control, heart rate down. And mentally focus. When I say mentally focus, once your recovery's down, you start thinking about a positive outcome. The amount of calories you're gonna be burning, the, the goals you'll be achieving from doing this workout. And that will hopefully keep you motivated when you're really struggling. Right, helps me anyways. Here we go, back lunge to press. We're gonna go in three, two, one, time. Back lunge, press. <sighs> lunge, press, back. Pass halfway. Come on, a few more. Just, just lunge if you need to. Oh. Weighted jackknife to lying on your backs. If you can't do this with the weight, body weight's absolutely fine. Here we go. All the way down. Good work. Okay. Sumo squat to press. On your feet. Here we go. Shoulders press down. If you feel you can't do the press anymore, just do the sumo squat. Come on, dig deep. You got this. I need 10 seconds. Come on, finish. Nice. Right, onto the renegade rows. Not the biggest fan of this one. But it's good for the back. Here we go. A row and then roll. Row, roll. Again, try and get into a rhythm and zone out. The worst thing you can do is clock watch or think about quitting. Come on, dig deep. Well, we've got the last few seconds. Boom. Okay, now press up, then roll. Here we go. Remember, get into that rhythm. If you can't do this anymore, drop to your knees. Come on, it's a positive mindset, guys. Think about your outcomes. Think how you'll feel 
At the end of this, guys. Come on. Ten seconds. Come quit now. Okay. Okay. Close grip chest press. Let's get ready. Lying on your backs. Come on. Here we go. Up. And down. Oh, feel my chest already. This is what we want. We want a bit of pain in our muscle groups that we're working. So we know we'll make change. Dumbbells together or wine bottles, whatever you've got. Come on. Last few seconds. Oh man. Here we go, squat to curl. Here we go. Down, up, curl. Awesome guys, if you're keeping up today. Especially if you're improvising, it's not easy. If you're having to use awkward shaped things to do this. Come on, pass halfway. Come on. Last one. Four climbers into your, into your press. Oh. Oh, really hot in here. Right, let's get ready. Four climbers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Come on, keep going, guys. The last few seconds, less than 15. Come on. One, two, three, four. Rest. Oh, nice. Take time. Awesome work. If you survived that circuit, we've now got a bit of a rest. Then we're gonna move on to a giant set. So we've got a single arm bicep curl into shoulder press, 30 seconds on each arm. And we're gonna do a lunge pulse. Don't know what I was thinking putting that in when I wrote it. <laughs> that's gonna be hard. If you, if, you know, if you can only manage body weight, that's absolutely fine. I think I'm gonna have to adapt and go body weight towards the end of that. Okay. Hopefully your heart rates are coming back down. Oh, my watch didn't work. How annoying. That's probably about time, I reckon. Right. Remember, single arm curl into shoulder press. So here, you don't have to have that, the arm back, behind the back. Curl, and then from here, press. Okay, well, let me just sort this out. So 
So to be clear, it's eight minutes, 45 seconds. And once we've done that, we're finished. Okay, so single arm curl to press in three, two, one, time. So curl, press, back. Remember, core strong, elbow in when you curl. Don't swing if you can help it. I'm having my feet together here just because it stops me from cheating. You really don't want to use your hips. You really don't want to use your, your shoulders to build momentum. Okay, nice postures. Nice and tall, guys. Soft knees, strong core. Curl, press, back. Keep going. One more. Boom. Okay. Dumbbells. Oh, this is going to be hard. Dumbbells either side. And we're going to lunge, pulse. What I mean by that is your back knee is going to touch the floor, but it's not going to come all the way up. So down and just tap. Oh. Don't come very high. Like an inch. Off the ground if that. Smaller the better to be honest. Oh, come on. Keep pulsing. Come on. Oh. Okay, swap legs. Remember the higher you go, the easier it is. And try and be strict. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was a tough. I'm gonna go body weight. Come on, right to the end. Do what you can. Oh. If you need to tap in, tap out, that's fine. Remember, exhausting your muscles to failure is a really good thing. Okay, curl to press. Just your work isn't done there, guys. As soon as you've done that, a few deep breaths, and as soon as you're ready, back in the game. Never let those negative thoughts plague or infect your brain where you have to quit and completely stop. That's what I don't want. Other side. As you're breathing, keep breathing throughout, guys. Don't get lazy, don't swing. Okay, I'm gonna try with the dumbbells. See what happens. Here we go. Come on, do what you can. 
Pass halfway. Oh, come on, big 10. Oh, this is going to be hard. Other leg. Come on. Here we go. Body weight, all weight. Just don't quit. Ten seconds. Oh, come on. Oh. Almost there, guys. One more round. Oh, come on. Here we go. Nobody trains to quit. All right, let's get to the end. Last round. Let's finish on a high. I'm trying to know what my heart rate is right now. Go the other side. Come on. Finish well, guys. Remember, we want to work through that finish line. Don't fall short. Last 30 seconds. Awesome work today, guys. If you've got to the end, a great effort. Here we go. Come on, finish on a high. Ten seconds. Oh, come on. Oh. Woo. Awesome work, guys. Great effort. You guys can relax there. Okay, now is the time to be thinking about your recovery. So right now we're going to do some stretching to help aid that recovery. Think about your postures and your breathing. Stay standing if you can. Take down some fluids. So you should be, I mean I hope, between at least a half a litre to a litre of water. To be really precise, you can weigh yourself before and then see how much weight you've lost in water after your session. Then you can be really accurate of how, how much water you've lost. Um, and also protein, I'm gonna have some protein shake, but if that's not your thing, eggs, chicken, something just to really help replenish and recover your systems. Okay, right, 
Let's do our hamstrings. We're going to do it standing. So we want to hyper extend your back, not round, like so. Toe to the sky. If you've got a wall or something to help aid you, that's cool. Just come as deep as you can until you feel a stretch in your hamstring. And switch. And also, a bit of carbohydrate. I would, I know some of you, your goals would probably be weight loss, so you might not be having carbohydrate, but again, because it's such an intense workout, we are using our glycogen stores up. A small bit of carbohydrate to replenish that would also be a good idea. In my opinion, Cool, and relax there. Okay, quads, so pick up your feet, like so, knees together, squeeze your butt, shoulders back and down. Switch legs. If you are on a diet that's low carb, such as the keto, which I have nothing against, whatever gets you results is safe and sustainable, I'm all for that. As long as you can you can answer all those three questions. Is it safe? Is it effective? And is it sustainable? Because for a lot of people, keto isn't sustainable. But what I would say, if you are doing sessions like this, then a little bit of carbohydrate before the session to really help your performance when you're training and a little bit of carbohydrate straight after the session to really help aid that recovery so you recover so much faster that when you come to the next session you can give it your all then i would argue a carbohydrate slightly before and straight after for me is essential to be honest <laughs> right lying face down <clears throat> feet together squeeze your butt hands slightly widen shoulders come up and hold, nice big chest, shoulders back and down. But if you think about it rationally, if you are well prepared for your session, well hydrated, glycogen stores are, are pretty good or pretty high, then you'll perform better. The better your performance, the more calories you'll burn, the more mu muscle you'll grow, and the, more the higher your metabolism will be after the session. Cool, and relax there. And the same with having a bit of carbohydrate straight after. The more you can recover, then the less achy and lethargic you'll be for your next session, and then you'll be able to perform better during that session again. So for me, I think it's really important. Um, that's our warm up, that's our cool down over, guys, so you guys can relax there. Awesome work today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the session. And if you did, as always, I really want to hear from you. So if you could leave a comment below and maybe a thumbs up, that would be really appreciated. Um, also, if you enjoyed the session and you're planning on doing more, then I'd really recommend subscribing. That way, every time I do a new class, it will pop straight into your inbox so you can do it whenever you please. Um, there is a caveat to that. Make sure you su subscribe and ring the bell if you want the notifications. Having said that, if you don't want the notifications, then don't ring the bell, but make sure you subscribe. <laughs> um, as I was saying, great work today, guys, and I hope to see you again soon. Cheers, thanks.